Welcome to Neyland Stadium, one of the biggest and most beautiful settings in all of college football. This big crowd ready to roar. They know when the Volunteers run through that tee, it's showtime. And a rivalry like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, the tradition and the history, but right here, right now, there's great intensity. This is why these guys came to these schools to play in games like this. As we'll see a squad from the SEC, the Florida Gators taking on the 15th ranked team, the Tennessee Volunteers. 3A Sports College Football. I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. And the Gators will kick this deep to begin the game. And he'll leave the kickoff right there. We'll start from the 25. So the Tennessee Volunteers offense making their way on the field to open this game. Well, Kirk, you could just feel the emotion, the intensity in this rivalry game right now. Well, one thing we know is you work year-round for a rivalry game, and now it's right before your eyes. Let's see how these guys play today. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, I don't think the offensive line gave the back much of a chance at all. Now, give credit to the defense. It was almost like they were anticipating a run and got up close to the line of scrimmage in a hurry. The ball has come to the line in the hurry up. An inside give now from the shotgun. And the defense smothers him for no gain. Well, Kirk, you played in rivalry games. No shortage of inspiration, but how do you manage the emotion of it all? Well, I think you need great leadership from the team. Sometimes teams don't handle the emotions of it, and the game can get sideways on you. The teams that play the best in rivalry games are the teams that have the best leaders to keep them focused on the task at hand. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Grab down the middle. It's Samson. He saw them at the 45, but that's good for a first down. That's exactly what you want to see here from this offense. A big third down conversion. Offensive line did their job, giving a quarterback enough time. Great read, good execution. Throws the ball accurately. Now you got some momentum going here on this opening drive. And the Vols line up on first and ten now. Brought down for a loss after the completion. Not what they were looking for. You know, what separates good defenses from great defenses is you're going to give up some catches. But what do you do after the offense makes the reception? Are you giving up much space? Are you giving up yards after the catch? Here, just a really good job by this defense. Yeah, they gave up a reception, but right there to make a nice tackle for a loss. He's brought down out at the 46. When you can get good chunks of yardage like this on early downs, it just keeps you on schedule, leading to more manageable third down situations. Never underestimate the value of consistently getting four more yards a pop like that. So the offense getting set, this is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. And now the running back's got it again. The balls will bring their punt team on the field now. And the punt lands out of bounds. Let's see exactly where they'll spot it here. So Florida's offense gets their first crack now. If there's one guy on this defensive side, Kirk, who could be a game wrecker, it's this elite pass rusher, very much on the quarterback's mind today. Yeah, Chris, but it's going to be very tough. This quarterback does a nice job of moving around in the pocket, and also he's going to have an awareness of exactly where this guy is and have a clock in his mind about how quickly that ball needs to get out. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. How about setting the edge there on the right side of that offensive line? I wouldn't be surprised if they keep going back to the well, pounding it behind that right guard and right tackle and tight end, seeing what additional damage they can do. 
listen to the crowd energy here in the early going. This is a tough, tough environment for visitors. On first down, they'll keep their running game churning. And the broken tackle there produces a solid game. And remember, the last time these teams met, it came right down to the wire. Well, Chris, there's so many great rivalry games that we all look forward to every single year. But with these two teams, it just always seems to be a tight matchup. Second down after that run on the previous play. Run back in the backfield, and he'll get the carry. Breaking free at the 35. And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. Well, Chris, you think about over the years with the Gators and their offense, it's always about Steve Spurrier and spreading it out with fun and gun and attacking downfield. But I think these great Gator teams, they have an ability to do what we just saw right here. Pick up a first down on the ground, relying on that offensive line and their running back. Using his legs, it's Johnson. Breaks a tackle on the play, makes a decent game. Chris, it's the consistency in this back is giving this defense fits. They've got to come up with some changes up foot. This guy's already over 50 yards, and if he keeps running the way he is, not only is he having a great day, but it's going to give this quarterback a chance to hit some big plays downfield off play action. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. That's a nice stiff arm. Doesn't produce much. Just a small game. chains here on the ground he'll be taken down but he does have first down yardage well, that's a good hard tough running there to get that first down to keep this drive alive early in this game the offense really asserting themselves they're not thinking about a field goal they're trying to put this ball in the end zone and the crowd coming to life here trying to help this defense down in the red zone here comes a throw from the red zone fires it to the wideout has caught can he get in Bring him down short of the goal line, but it's first and goal from the two. Well, it's a big risk to play man-to-man -man coverage by this defense, and this time they get caught. Great timing between the quarterback and his receiver. You can see what can happen when that timing is right. Big things can happen. They'll try to run this one in. Couldn't quite get there, but brought down at the one-yard line. And this big crowd doing everything possible to inspire this defense down here near the goal line. On second and goal, they'll give him another chance. Going to try to run inside, but nowhere to go. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers to make the play. Just underway, and this home crowd is fired and ready to make a difference today. And it's caught. Touchdown, Gators. Boy, the quarterback put that ball right where he could give his receiver a chance, and what an effort by that receiver to lay out and come up with that touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the PAT makes it 7-0. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. The Turner looking to make a play here. Physical run, breaking tackles. And he stopped at the 20, trying to make something happen. That's good coverage there. And the Volunteers' powerful offense back out in the field. The last time, they were forced to punt it away. Can they get points out of this possession? And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. 
I mean, Chris, you have to admire this offense. They continue to try to sprinkle in the run game, even though it's not been able to really get established. But they're not just becoming one-dimensional. you got to respect that, and hopefully at some point it'll pay off. The Volunteers will hustle to the line to crank the tempo. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. But only a one-yard gain, so it's third and nine coming up. Well, another short game for this offense on the ground, and you've got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half and really making them one-dimensional. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. Dropping back, it's Ayamaleva. There's no one to throw to there on third down, and now it's a fourth down coming up. Well, he just threw it away here, Chris, and it's not the worst decision. You'd wish he'd find a guy open to give him a chance for this offense to convert, but at least they have some room now to work if they want to bring the punter out. The Volunteers will line up to punt it away, and he'll kick it away now for the second time. On the return, it's Hawkins. And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. The Gators offense retakes the field. And that last touchdown drive, they just pounded away with the running game. Let's see if they can do it again. The game is five, so it's second and five now. It's Webb. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Challenging play for the offense. They face third and long here. No 43. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. Under pressure, just lets it go. Just throws it away, but takes a big hit in the process. Well, Chris, obviously they had to go through the air there to try to pick up this third down and long, but when you're so far behind the chains, but you really allow this defense to dictate things and it allows them to put pressure on your quarterback and can affect the timing, as we saw in this play. They'll kick it away here. And the returner decides to signal fair catch. And the Volunteers' high-tempo offense is back out on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. Solid run moves the ball out across the 20 to 21. I know the toss play began with a guy taking a snap. He turns around, he flips it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, is can they set the edge as an offense? Whether it's an offensive tackle, a tight end in that same direction, the way they want to run the ball. Because if they can do that, you get the result that you want just like this. If you don't, oftentimes the play is blown up right at the line of scrimmage. Tackle behind the line, it's a loss of two. Tell you, this defense continues to just be physical at the line of scrimmage. Offense can't do anything on the ground. And by doing that, this defense is allowing their defensive front to get pressure on the quarterback. Every time they drop back the throw, they become a one-dimensional offense. Send the back in motion. Looking downfield, it's Ayamaleva. Snags the quick throw. Stop right there at the line. No game. Man, really good job here by the defense. Flying around, recognizing the ball is out, and then making the tackle short of the first down. And the Volunteers will bring their punt team onto the field. And here's the fair catch by the return man. And the Florida offense is back out on the field now. They're looking to build on the lead. They had to punt the football in the last possession. And the runner takes off to his right. Getting set up. Here's second down. They're going to run it here. 
you seem to be able to make the stop after a short game. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 42. Can they make the yardage or face a tricky fourth down decision? From the gun, he looks for an open man. Caught over the middle, it's Wilson. Tackle is made, but that's good for a first down of the 47. That's a great feeling when your quarterback can make a throw and it keeps the drive alive. Not as good as a touchdown, but it's a lot better than having to trot over to the sideline waiting for your turn to get another chance. The Gators getting set on first and ten. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. The pass is incomplete. He dropped the first hand attempt here across the middle. Second down after the incompletion. He'll try to pick up the yardage on the ground. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. third down. There's a screen pass to the running back. And the defense able to bring him down to wrap up the first quarter of play. And Florida has the lead curve as we break for the quarter. Let's we'll check out the stats now through the opening period. They've flipped into the field pretty now for the second period. The Gators will line up to kick it away. They're going to kick it away for the second time. And the punt heads out of bounds. They'll spot this ball about the 30. And Tennessee's high-powered offense is back out on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? Well, there's just so many things happening on these read option plays, and they happen fast. This defense has done a good job of trying to prevent this quarterback from hitting the big play. He gets some yards here, but at least he didn't get out for a big gainer. The ball's looking to use the up-tempo offense here. On the run, it's Sampson. Fights off a defender. Breaks loose at the 45. An explosive game. Big play moves the ball inside the 40. The big fellows, Kirk, flowing to the right there. The defense just has no answer. It's a huge game. Yeah, and what a patience there by the running back. Just allowing those blocks to be set up there off to the right. And then once he saw the crease in the defense, accelerates through that hole to show you what kind of speed he has for a big gain and a first down. First down, why not keep it on the ground? Goes backwards, losing three yards there. But that was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. Running back with the football. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, they run it right into a blitz, and that linebacker was coming downhill, Kirk. Man, what a time to call that blitz here by the defensive coordinator. And you're right, he shoots right through that A-gap. Really, the back had nowhere to go. By the time he got the ball in his hands, the linebacker's right in his face. It's third down for the offense. To throw, it's Ayamaleva. Let's it fly out of the wide out. And he's got his man open downfield. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they've dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. About time this offense gets going. It's a first and ten. 
Snapping it from the red zone now. Looking to throw. Makes the catch. Can he get in? And he will score. Touchdown, Volunteers. Oh, just outstanding execution here by this offense. The offensive line gives the quarterback time, and the quarterback's anticipation was on point. Puts that ball right in the money. The receiver, all he had to do was turn and catch the ball for that touchdown. And now they'll set up for the point after. And it's up and good. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Fields it inside the five-yard line. Turner brought down by that coverage team. The Florida offense retakes the field. They were forced to put it away last time, so let's see if they can get clicking in this possession. It's a one-yard game, second and nine coming up. On the ground, it's Johnson. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. How about the timing here by the defense to shoot that gap? As an offensive lineman, you have to anticipate that, close that gap off, otherwise it can be a long day. And this crowd coming to life here, trying to help the defense get a stop the offense pinned back. Dropping back, it's Mertz. He's sacked and he brought down right at the five-yard line. Great call here going with that nickel defense, giving you more speed on the field in that third down and long. Nowhere to go. Gave the defensive line plenty of time to come up with that sack. Now it's fourth down and long. And the Gators will bring their punt team onto the field. And he's able to get the boot away. With the return, it's White. The returner is brought down. It's a start with the next drive. And Tennessee's offense back out on the field now. They were able to punch it in the end zone last time, looking to do the same thing here to see if the defense can make adjustments. They bring him down to the 27. This offense really threatening now. That's just good, hard running by this back. And man, they've had some good ones over the years. Go back to Jamal Lewis, who was on that 98 National Championship team. Travis Henry, Arian Foster. Boy, Chris, some big physical backs come to mind when you think about the Tennessee Vols. And the Vols come to the line looking to crank up the tempo. Running game is working. They'll stick with it on first down. They bring him down, but a solid game there on first down. Looks to be just inches short of the marker. Boy, positive yards there on first and ten. Good job up front by that offensive line. Good hard running by this running back. And now you get a lot of options. That playbook can really open up on second and inches. The balls are looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Got space, looking to score. And he'll make it in for the score. Touchdown, Tennessee. Chris, we get so caught up in this era of the spread, of throwing the football and the quarterback and the receivers. This is a great example of the value of having a running back that has a nose for the end zone and can take it in for a touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT puts him in front by seven. Here's the kickoff 
team now. Set to boot this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. And they've got the returner corralled. The Gators offense retakes the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. The soccer with a strong tackle there. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane. Pick up some positive yards there on first and ten. Getting set. Here's second down. Ball handed off. And they'll tackle him about the 23-yard line. It's not a huge game here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that affect the defense. Solid gain on the running play. Third down now. Can he make it to the marker? And they'll stop him just short of the marker. Good effort, but the defense holds. Now it's fourth down. The Gators will send their punt team onto the field. Turner is tackled by this punt coverage team. And the Volunteers' powerful offense back out in the field. They got off to a slow start, but they have been clicking lately. Can they build on this lead now in the second quarter? Solid game moves the ball to a 43. Well, if you're going to run the read option, you're going to have to keep your eye on that defensive end. If he collapses down inside to the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself as a quarterback to the outside. Now, if he stays outside, you're going to go ahead and leave it in the running back's belly. In this case, he pulled it and got some good yards himself. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. He's brought down out at the 46. The volunteers hustle to the line to run the hurry up. It's an option look. Powers through. And the runner steps out of bounds, but does have enough yardage to pick up the first down. The Volunteers will have first and ten here. Using his legs, it's Samson. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. He has been a game record today for this defense, taking advantage of this big stage. And Chris, when we sat down with him in our production meeting, he didn't have a lot to say. He was very focused on what he needed to do. Just had a feeling he might step up and have a big game. Go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. A quick juke to get free. After second effort, he's brought down, but he's past the marker. What, another nice game by this back. He has had a beautiful day today running the football, just kind of in that zone, and a big reason why they have a nice lead today. And the Volunteers pick up enough yardage to keep this drive rolling. Quarterback will throw this out of the RPO. And he's brought down, but there is a flag on the field. Let's check out this call. <laughs> Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. A penalty backs up the offense. It's first and 15. Ball handed to the running back. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. This is the sixth play on the drive. Off play action, he's looking to throw. He's moving out of the pocket. 
running through the tackle. It's going to be a loss on the play. Four set of bounds. Great play by the defense. Well, the offense tries to go with the play action to slow this defense down, but they weren't buying. They applied the pressure and came up with the sack. So bad plays on first and second down puts them in a tough spot here. Third and very long. Looking downfield, it's Ayamaleva. And he's going to stretch the defense, taking a deep shot here. Well, it looked like the quarterback had everything that he needed there. Had great protection. Receiver ran a nice route. Just not able to convert there on that third down. Let's see what their decision is on fourth down coming up. The balls will line up to punt it away. Bounce right at the three-yard line and into the end zone for a touchback. And the Florida offense is back out on the field now. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. Pulls it in. It's Wilson. They stop him after a short gain. It's not a first down. Defenses all around the country have got to do a better job of keeping an eye on these little guys from the slot. They can dismantle a defense with their speed and quickness in the open space. Offense getting set. It's second down. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. That's a solid game. Moves the ball to 29. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance and a really nice game. They punted four times already on the verge of a fifth. They can't convert this third down. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Looking for his big tight end. He's got an open man downfield, but it's caught. Out of bounds, but not before a huge game. Offense gets a fresh set of downs. That's one way to be able to move the football up the field in a hurry. These are the types of plays that can really galvanize an offense. First and ten play coming up. Caught in the backfield. It's Badger. Tackled quickly after the catch, he'll be short of the marker. Second down after that run on the previous play. Back to throw, it's Mertz. Catch hauled in here over the middle. Tackle made at the 21. This offense in great scoring position now. You know, this is what makes this receiver so dangerous. If you play him in man, he can run by you for a big play. You decide to sit back in zone, and he's got the savvy and instincts to be able to find that soft spot in the zone, make a catch, and be dangerous after the catch as well. It's a quick grab. Touchdown for a strong game by this quarterback. Chris, that's his second touchdown of the day. You talk about getting off to a great start. He may have more in it. And they'll set up now for the extra point drop. And there's the point after. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner opportunity to bring this back. Fields it just outside the goal line. And he stopped at the 20. Trying to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Volunteers' high-tempo offense is back out on the field. Last drive stalled. They were forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. It was there, Chris. It was the right call. It was good execution. He just dropped it. That receiver's got to do a better job of finishing the play. So, second down after the incompletion. 
to the air. It's Ayamaleva. He's going for a big play. Fired into a tight window and picked off. Tackle made on the return, but the takeaway sets up the offense at the 37 now. And this is a big time play by this linebacker showing his versatility. We know he can stop the run, but in zone defense with cover two, he's got an area he's got to be able to defend, and it's exactly what he did. And I don't know if the quarterback even saw him or knew that he was capable of making a play like that. And the Florida offense retakes the field. They scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments and stop them this time. That's reeled in. It's Wilson. And he's out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards, and I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. Offense operating from the pistol. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. The short completion of the tight end. The Gators look to keep this drive moving. They pick up a completion. It doesn't get big yards, but you know what? Enough for the first down. Let's move the sticks. How aggressive do you get on first and ten? Back now goes in motion. The defense will have to adjust. Oh, they've got him for a sack. A big play made by the junior. Nothing is more gratifying for a defense to be able to sit back and play zone and still get pressure on the quarterback with your defensive front. They'll have to hurry now. Second down with the clock ticket. Mertz. Here's a throw underneath to the tight end. They bring him down after a solid gain, but it's still well short of the first down marker. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. It's a short completion to the big tight end. And he's tackled just short of that first down marker. Good job by the defense. And now the defense will call a timeout here to make an adjustment on their side before this crucial play. So on fourth down now, out comes the field goal unit. Kick is up and no good. And with the miss, remain tied. Well, that's going to go down as an empty possession for this offense. No points as he's off target. Now you can see he's hanging his head. Poor kicker. Tennessee's high-powered offense is back out on the field. This offense trying to bounce back the last possession and then in a pick. Looking to throw it on first down. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play brings up second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, he's unable to hold on to the football. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. Quick completion to the tight end. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it down to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. It's been a fun start to this one. And this offense has really been the story. They've opened up a sizable lead. And unless something drastic changes, things might get even more out of hand. A combination of lethal efficiency and that offensive line has been the key. They've mauled that defense and also just about broken their will. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. And the Vols will kick this deep and begin the second half. And here's the return from inside the five. 
He's got some daylight turning on the speed. And the coverage team pins him in and brings him down. The Gators offense retakes the field. First play of the third quarter is a handoff. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. Second down play coming up. He's going to hand this off. And he's got it. Already passed the first down marker. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. Chris, what I love here is just the vision by the running back. Showing great patience. The hole opens up, and then he's able to use his speed to pick up some good yards. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Dropping back, it's Mertz. Had a lot of time back there, now throws it to the right. Deep ball is caught for a huge gain here. Tackle is finally made, but an explosive gain. They'll move it down to the 23-yard line. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. And let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big gain. And the Gators starting a new series here on first and ten. Off the play fake, looking to throw. And it's caught on the crossing pattern. And look at the speed there. They finally bring him down, but it's a nice game. Once you can establish the run game, the play action is so effective. Those linebackers' eyes get caught up on the run. You pull the ball, and you've got open targets behind him. It's a great example of using the run game to set up your play action. So two big plays in a row. The defense is reeling here. Now it's first and goal. Couldn't quite get there. Brought down at the two. the noise this crowd is trying to inspire this defense to make a big red zone stop on second and goal they hand it to him again touchdown Gators and they go in front here in the second half well, that's an example right there of what vision and patience and ability can do for running back he was on a mission to get into the end zone and really he made it look easy So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT makes it a seven-point lead. The kickoff team on the field now is a get set to send this one away. So no return here. He takes him in the end zone, and they'll begin the drive at the 25. And Tennessee's offense back out on the field now. They start the drive with a quick throw on the left side. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards, and they stay ahead of the sticks. Balls will come to the line to run the hurry up. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. The volunteers moving quickly down the field here. It was a nice job up front by the offensive line, but give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he was able to get downfield for the first down. Here's a first and ten play. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Fires it to the wide out. And it's complete downfield. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. 
Boy, a great throw and a first down for Tennessee, and they are in business. This quarterback is playing well, and, you know, Chris, they are able to recruit the nation when it comes to quarterback play because of the history and tradition they have. It started really with Peyton Manning, but has worked its way through. Think about T. Martin, won the national title in 98. Hendon Hooker, what he did a few years ago. Go back to Josh Dobbs. Boy, they've had some great quarterbacks that have played here. On the run here, lets it go. The pass is incomplete. Important second down play coming up. QB decides to keep it here. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Now, not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. They didn't lose any yards, which is great. I think they're definitely looking for more from that play. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. They'll run it from the gun. Oh, they test the middle of the defense, but get nothing. It was an excellent effort by this defense, just staying in their run fits, holding their own at the line of scrimmage, and then making a tackle. Offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get any yards at all. The Volunteers will hustle to the line to run the hurry-up offense. Scanning the field, it's Ayamaleva. Touchdown, Bowles. Man, this defense coordinator better adjust to this receiver. All they did was get him the ball in space, and you can see what he can do after the catch. One defender will not slow this receiver down today. You better bracket him or use double coverage. Here comes the point after attempt. He knocks through the PAT and ties the score here in the third period. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. Return starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Florida offense is back out on the field now. They punched it into the end zone the last time. Let's see if this defense has made some adjustments to stop him this time. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. After the first down loss, it's second and long for the 17. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. Quick throw, catch made on the out route. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Well, here the defense decided to sit back and play zone, and that front didn't do a good job of pressuring the quarterback. He had the time to make the throw, and he put it on target. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. And he lofts it toward the sideline. That one falls incomplete. They tried to press it deep, but now it brings up fourth down. Love this aggressive mindset from the quarterback and offensive coordinator. Found the matchup that you wanted. Take a shot downfield. You don't hit it, but you made the defense be aware of it. The Gators will line up to put it away. On the kick now for the fifth time today. And 
and the returner brought down by the coverage team. And the Volunteers' powerful offense back out in the field. They were clicking last time. Great protection. The pitch and catch was solid. Right down for a touchdown. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Well, anytime an offensive coordinator calls a wide receiver screen, he's trying to get offensive linemen out in front of the receiver to create a wall so that receiver can pick a lane to run through. How about the defense here, though? That's called team pursuit and swarming to the football. They didn't give him any lanes, so not much yards downfield for the receiver. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. And the Volunteers looking to run some tempo here. On third and short, they try to pick it up on the ground. The balls will have to kick it away. Already punted five times now today. And the puck will bounce out of bounds inside the 10. You can't do it any better than that. And the Florida offense retakes the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? And he's tackled for a loss after the catch. The defense all over that one. That's why this is such a tough place for visitors to play. Short connection to the tight end here. But a huge collision. Glove delivered there by the linebacker. Just a good job of spreading the wealth, making sure everybody's getting their touches. When you do that, the defense can't lock in on one guy or two guys. Make them have to be aware of everybody. It allows you to continue to spread the ball around and spread the field, making it tougher for this defense. Back to pass. It's Mertz. And it's intercepted. He stepped in front of that bullet. Follows the pick with a nice return before finally being brought down. I'm going to give the defensive coordinator a tip of the cap here. They went with dime coverage with six defensive backs, which gives them a lot more speed on the field. And with those defensive backs, they're able to play better in space. They recognize the ball, step in front of it for a nice interception. The Volunteers' high-tempo offense is back out on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. That's the spin move. And he's brought down after a big first down game. His second and short. Maybe an opportunity, Kirk, to take a shot here. Well, this wide receiver has it all. We know about his leaping ability and his speed. But what I've seen today is the precise route running. Another example of it there, and the timing with this quarterback and this receiver is just a thing of beauty. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. And the Vols come up to the line in the hurry-up. Quick throw. That's an RPO top on the left side. They bring him down, but the game sets up the offense first and goal from the 10. Well, that's exactly how you dice up a zone coverage. Nice throw downfield here on third down and a really good route to give the quarterback a chance to make that play. The balls will line up now. It's first and goal. Keep it on the ground on first and goal. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. All right, second down and goal now for this offense.
And the quarterback keeps it on the option. We're able to get him down. Well, anytime you use your quarterback as a runner, the goal is obviously to hit some big plays. You've got to be careful of letting your quarterback take too many big hits. Not only can he get tired, he can also start to fumble the football. Offense moving backwards here a long way from the goal line now. They'll look to throw it on third and goal. Sacked on heavy pressure there. Boy, they're making this offensive line really think and communicate. Bringing different blitzes. This time the outside linebacker gets to the quarterback and comes up with a big sack for the D. So they'll settle for a field goal attempt here. This will be a 35-yard attempt. And the field goal is good. And they've reclaimed the lead with that. Now, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. team is out there now. Fielded in the end zone. It's Hawkins. Tackled at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. The Gators offense retakes the field. We'll see if this quarterback can shake off the interception he threw in the last possession. And they'll run it with the draw play. He's past the marker and still going. It's a fumble. It bounces past the sideline, out of bounds, and they avoid the turnover there. Oh, my gosh, Chris. You can almost feel a collective sigh of relief coming from the offensive sideline as that ball rolled out of bounds. And the replay booth has signaled they want to stop and have another look at this one. So after taking a closer look, the officials will overturn that previous ruling. And in first down, they go right back to him. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. Second down after that run on the previous play. Dropping back, it's Mertz. He's got it for a big game. They get him down, but the game moves the ball to the plus 40. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. This guy's been such a big factor in this game. Already a couple touchdowns. Now they need the first down. They dial him up again, and he delivers. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. The shotgun running play call. Got the first down. Now looking for more. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. And it's been an old-school ground game duel. These running backs have been putting on a show so far today. One quarter to go. Let's see if this sets up as a classic finish. The Gators begin a new series here, first and ten. Handoff here from the shotgun. Stop after a small game. Now looking at second and nine. the snap quarterback looking to throw grab down the middle it's badger he's brought down at the six the offense will have first and goal right there man this wide receiver has been a difference maker in this football game he's got two touchdowns already now they look to him again and he picks up the first down and now a chance to take the lead with the touchdown here it's first and goal trying to find room it's johnson and that's a solid game for the defense able to bring him down. Chris, that's positive yards on first and goal, which is obviously good. But now we're at this point in the game, critical series. They've got to find a way to get the ball in the end zone. 
defense clearly setting up to stuff the run here. Another handoff to him on second and goal. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. What a great job here by the defense reading that play, pursuing the football. Nice loss of yardage there on second goal. Now it's third and goal for the offense. Urgency here in the fourth quarter. They must cut into this lead. It's third down and goal. Looking to throw. It's Mertz. The pocket breaking down. Got him for a sack. A big play made by one of the senior leaders of this defense. A really good job by this defense. The quarterback looked to be trying to work through his progressions to find his open receiver, but before he knew it, he's on his back. So on fourth down, here comes a crucial field goal attempt. This one is right through. And we are tied up now here in the fourth quarter. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. They come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. Well, he's got a crease here. Look out. Just able to stop him, but it's a great return. Lucky to prevent a touchdown, but they get in the drive with excellent field position. And they have it off to the back. Fights off a defender. The tackle, it looks like it's going to be just short of the mark, inches away. I love those positive yards on first and ten, and it's not quite a first down. Looks like it'll bring second inches, but sure does open up the playbook here to be able to open up, maybe take a shot downfield. The volunteers come to the line in the hurry up. And the tight end goes in motion before the snap. Takes the handoff again. He's taken down, but that's a nice game. They'll spot the ball now at the 35. How about the offensive line here? Just a hat on a hat, opening up just enough room for the back to squeeze through there for a nice game. See what the call is on first and 10. Play fake, looking to throw. Let's it go quickly. Caught over the middle. It's McCoy. And the tackle is made, but the offense now is set up. First and goal from the nine. That's a great job of working the middle of the field by this quarterback, and he picks up big yards. First and goal. The offense with an opportunity for a go-ahead score here in the final minutes. Around the corner, it's Samson. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Talk about quickness, that play is absolutely blown up in no time. Chris, I don't know if that's a misassignment by the offensive lineman or just really good instincts there by the defender, but that play is blown up right at the snap. This will be a challenge now, second and goal back at the 13. Looks to his left and makes the completion. Brought down after the catch, but at the eight-yard line, the offense threatening here. Well, when you sit back and play zone defense like this, what you allow is your defense to have eyes on the football. Here, they give up the catch, but you can see how they rally to the football. There's just nowhere to go for this slot receiver. Great job by the defense so far. It's third and goal from a long way out. Looking to throw. It's Ayamaleva. Launching one to the end zone. Touchdown, Volunteers. That puts them on top in the second half. 
for a winning job by the offensive coordinator going to that five wide receiver set, creating the one-on-one -on -one matchups, finding the most favorable matchup, and then going to that receiver for the score. Extra point try coming now. PAT is up and good. And lead by a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Bringing it out. It's Hawkins. Tackle at the 14. Not very good field position to start here. And the Florida offense is back out on the field now. They moved it last time, but settled for a chip shot. Looking to find the end zone this time. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. How about the defense on this play right here? Because they go with the draw play to try to take an advantage of an aggressive defense. It's pinning your ears to get upfield. But instead, it's almost like the defense was expecting the run. They're not surprised at all. They make a great play. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. Looking for his big tight end. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. Yeah, I'm surprised he dropped the ball here. This tight end is known for his hands. The ball's put on the money. Somehow it just goes through his arms. And this crowd coming to life here trying to help the defense get a stop. The offense pinned back. On third down, he drops to throw. Graham down the middle. It's Johnson. Defense able to stop him. It's fourth down now. The offense gets some positive yards here, but they're going to be short of the first down marker to set up fourth down. Really good job by the defense of tackling and the awareness to keep him short of that first down marker. And the Gators will line up to boot it away on the punt now for the sixth time today. Oh, and he's got some space here. They finally get him down, but that's a solid return. Good work by the return man. And Tennessee's high-powered offense is back out on the field. They'll give it to the back. The game is two yards, so it's second and eight. The Volunteers looking to crank up the tempo a bit. And the same runners got it again. It'll be smoother right at the line for no gain. Well, with the lead here, this is where you want to just take your time. The defense, as we know, they are looking to do anything they can to create an aggressive play to try to create a turnover. So you got to work that clock, but also protect the football. I'm sure the coach right now is preaching to all his guys and reminding them about ball security at this point in the game. Looking to pass, it's Ayamaleva. Close to the tight end. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. And he's brought down, but there is a penalty marker out there. Let's check out this call. So the offense chooses to decline the pass interference penalty, and the result of that play will stand. Gonna run it, it's Sampson. And they try the middle, but stuck for no gain. Well, the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. Offense right to the line, cranking up the tempo. They'll run it here. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. This running back's had a big night, kind of night you dream about, but the defense finally steps up and gets to him behind the line of scrimmage. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. 
Dropping back, he's going to throw for the first down. Caught over the middle. It's Selden. He stopped short of the marker, so it's fourth down now. Heck of a job here by the defense on this third down to keep them short of the first down. Now it's fourth down, and an interesting decision for this offense with the lead. Do they punt the ball away, or do they go for it? So on fourth down, it's an all-important field goal attempt. Hold your breath here. And it's no good. He missed it. And the lead remains at seven after the miss. That's a missed opportunity for some points here. The way they were moving the football, I thought maybe a touchdown at the very least, three points, but instead, he shanks it. And the Florida offense retakes the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? quarterback keeps the football he's found some room with the 45 brought down but not before he gets into enemy territory at the 49 Boy, this offense does such a great job of putting the threat of the quarterback and the running back on this defense it puts the defense in a tough spot because it's really hard to take both away this time the quarterback gets out and shows you the speed he has as well play action here on first down Grab behind the line, it's Johnson. Defense reacts quickly, a very short gain on the play. Made the catch, but he was surrounded for not much room to run. They did a really good job that time of leveraging him out in space. I, I thought he might have a chance to be able to shake loose because he is so elusive. But uh, defense, as you said, did a really good job in the open field surrounding him. Just nowhere for him to go to pick up any more positive yards. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. And he pulls in the catch. Tackle is finally made, but not before it's a huge gain down to the 25. These undersized slot receivers can be some of the toughest guys to contain for a defense. They're quicker than they really are fast, and they're very elusive, tough to contain in these one-on-one -on -one matchups. The offense getting closer to a game-tying touchdown is first and 10. Looking to pass, it's Mert, and he'll loft it to the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Florida. That's another passing strike from his quarterback. He is having himself a tremendous ball game. Boy, this guy just can't miss. Every single time he throws, it seems like he's coming up with another touchdown. The receivers are running good routes. He has enough time to throw. And, man, this poor defense, they might want to think about changing up coverage because right now it is not working. Now they line up to kick the extra point. And the PAT is up and good, and we are all tied here in the final quarter. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. They'll return it from inside the five. Gets it to the 25-yard line. That's where they'll start the drive. And Tennessee's offense back out on the field now. Looking for some space. It's Selman. Breaks loose at the 40. The tackle is finally made, but a huge gain. will spot the ball near midfield at the plus 49. Really good patience here from the back. And anytime you have a big gain like this, that means the receivers are doing their job as well. That second and third level, the defense, picking up some bigger blocks and helping them get even more yards. And the volunteers will hustle to the line to run the hurry-up offense. And they'll go right back to him on first down. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Just a great play by the running back here, finding his lanes and then exploding through the gap when it opened up. And the clock stops now for the two-minute warning as we head into the dramatic finish of this game. First down here for this offense. Back to throw. It's Ayamaleva. 
Quick throw to his receiver. Makes the catch downfield. And he's finally forced out of bounds inside the 10. Big play to set up a first and goal. Chris, how about the offensive balance these last couple plays we're seeing from these guys? Not only are they balanced, but the explosiveness. A big run followed up by a big play through the air and puts a lot of pressure on this defense. First and goal, final two minutes. A chance for the offense to break the tie here very late. On the ground, trying to muscle it across the line. Touchdown, Tennessee. They go in front in the final minute of play. What a thing of beauty by this offense to put that go-ahead score up on the board. The quarterback played with tremendous composure when the game was on the line. Now we'll see if his own defense can hold on to this lead. Now they'll try to add on the PAT late in this game. PAT is up and good. They lead by a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. Now they get set to kick it away. Fields it inside the five-yard line. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. The Gators offense retakes the field. So here we go. It could come down to this possession, Kirk. Sets up as a potential classic finish. He'll be taken down. The defense rises up with a sack in a crucial moment. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. it down to the back. Caught. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. Man, give the defense a lot of credit. You're taking away the elite receiver. That primary target forces the quarterback to find a second or third option. He gets positive yards. But anytime you can take away the big play late in the game, it's going to help you be able to secure victory. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Beautiful catch right near the sideline. Gets the foot down. Well, I'll tell you what. This guy's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. And here we are, late in the game. He needs to continue to play with that consistency. That's a great example that he's up to. Offense needs points quickly here, trying to dial up some explosive plays. Let's see what they've got called. First down, looking to throw the football. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. What a hit there by the defender. Tough for the receiver to hold on to the football, but he has that kind of contact. Good, clean play by the defense. We've got to get points quickly here. Looking for explosive plays right now. He's back to throw again on second down. Oh, and he dropped it. We do not see that very often from this guy. He's going to bring up third down. Now that's going to bring up a critical third down here as we're late into this football game in a drive where they need points. This quarterback's got to take control of this huddle, make sure everybody's on the same page. You have multiple plays you can go to, whether it's a run or a pass, but you've got to come up with a first down. Short throw complete to the tight end and uses his speed to pick up solid yardage. And the offense will wisely spend a timeout after the play. Clock management is going to be very important here in the final minutes. Man, and with that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300. Can't get it away. The defense has got it. What a huge stop at this stage in the game. Timeout is called here to stop the clock on this crucial possession. That sack sets up a second down and very long. Scanning the field. It's Mertz. Quarterback looks to his right and finds his man. And the coach quickly calls timeout after the play. 
trying to hold on to as much time as possible. They need to score quickly here, trying to dial up some big plays. And the clock winding down, they'll take a deep shot. Caught way downfield for a huge game. Potentially a touchdown saving tackle, but not before a long completion. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. The offense spikes the ball here, looking to preserve as much clock as they can. And the crowd coming to life here, trying to help this defense down in the red zone. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. They've got him to sack for the defense. 